with many specifying the U.S. red stage. Happen. City Walk, City Wall here, and welcome back to Mars. This episode is super exciting. We have a guest builder in Mars, and it's someone that you might not expect. It's not someone who has a YouTube channel, but rather the king of City Skylines Reddit, Disgruntled Guy, who if you don't go on Reddit or know who he is, he makes really awesome, realistic 10K screenshots from his Los Angeles city and is now working on a new sort of Arizona desert project, which is looking really cool, and has like 150,000 karma, which is a really a lot for just posting only City Skylines content. Yes, yeah, something like that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you hit me up when I released the first episode of Mars and we're just like saying, oh, it's such a great project and you know, you're not a bitch, which I thought was hilarious. And then you came out with this awesome video of how to make realistic curbs and I heard you speak and I realized you had a microphone and could make videos. I was like, I got to get this guy on Mars, especially considering that I've been watching what you post on Reddit for a couple of years now. And I have to say, your screenshots were some of the things that really got me thinking about detailing in this game. So I've known about you for a couple of years now, and it's really exciting to finally get on a call and get you into the city building. How you doing, buddy? You okay? <laughs> oh man, yeah, you know. So when we first started chatting, I gave you a couple ideas of places to build and types of things that might go into some places. And the one that you were like, oh, I gotta do this, was this spot underneath these Hyperloop tracks. And I was telling you that this should probably be like the slummiest part of the city. Oh, I got really excited to bring my depressing art style to Mars. You knew I was gonna take the grungiest option. So what was your process? How'd you come up with what you were gonna do here? I don't have a process or anything like that. The only thing I knew I was gonna do is a lot of that pipe work with the the water coming out of it that was the base idea i had and i just kind of build it up and go from there because everything kind of depends on each other so i can't plan it all out in one thing i just got to go with the flow yeah the pipes are sick so it's like sewage draining town or something i mean i had an idea that these are just i mean that's supposed to be water by the way it was originally something like toxic with a lot of steam coming out of it but it was a bit over the top and i thought People are supposed to be living down here and they're not going to be living in uh, those types of horrifying conditions. So I just made it water instead. So I thought that maybe this is distributing water someplace, but this is such an old part of this facility that it's falling apart at this stage. But as well, I mean, people are living around here and they're accessing this water. And this is sort of like a, a fresh water supply for them, which would be the basis for people being down there. But it's clearly, it's not a nice place to live by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, it looks like God awful down here. So what are these pieces here? What are these? pipes what did you make this out of i don't even recognize this asset oh the actual pipes themselves I think that's the vanilla sewage pipe converted to procedural objects and that's it that's all i took from it crazy so what i wanted to do next was i wanted to do the groundwork for the uh where the shacks were going to be placed and for specifically how the power lines were going to be laid out because power lines are so crazy intricate that sort of everything depends on them is and once they're placed i'm not going to move them like forget about that it takes so long to set those down so the idea was they're stealing power from those walls and they're tethering it to stolen utility poles and that's how they're getting power all the way down here yeah man that's always something that stood out to me about your screenshots that you post is that these power lines that you make and the individual lines and wires that you lay down are so intricate and so detailed it's really awesome that you brought that into this project as well yeah see before this i never used procedural objects they don't work with the high resolution screenshot feature so for the power lines i usually do those are not procedural objects those are actual props that i've i've made that i've imported into a blender and I, I've tilted into various different directions and you got to draw the lines manually every single time to every single little connection which is 
extremely tedious, but it's also like, to be honest, it's, it's the most fun part for me. It was worth it. Like when I look at this now, I think this is fantastic. This makes it for me. Yeah, man, I couldn't agree more. It's like one of those things where you don't necessarily notice it right off the bat, but the little imperfections in things like this, you know, in power lines when you're going down the street, it's like what makes it feel real, you know? Absolutely, yeah. And on top of it, it's like the thing that I, I remember even commenting on one of your Reddit posts like a year ago about how you do your power lines because it's always like my blowing to me seeing this in game so having you to it here was awesome i had to so what was the uh, next thing you worked on uh, after that i wanted to establish more pipes and that's when i created the ones you know the ones that are attached to the walls there um, that are just sort of pouring trash down i think the idea for these was i mean this is the origins of a lot of the trash down here and again because this is such an older area you know this is how they used to dispose the trash they would just dump it down here and i suppose at this stage they probably have you know different areas but down here it's still very much used it's almost like an illegal garbage dump. My favorite one down here, like the best idea I had is that one like with the pillar that's coming out with that waterfall going down. Uh, I'm just so happy the way that turned out, like how it just, it flows down there. Yeah, this is super cool. The way it's like a little ramp for it. And I was also imagining this would be a good way for someone to maybe climb up into the sewer or something like that. Yeah, see, one of my other ideas was that maybe, I mean, those obviously go someplace. So someone could be maybe climbing up in there and going and going somewhere. So, I mean, from the beginning, the only other rough idea I had is that I wanted to do something that was sort of like red light districty. You know what I mean? I wanted to put some kind of brothel there, maybe. And I just didn't want it to be necessarily just something located on the ground. I wanted it to have like a lot of style to it. So I had the idea of taking the uh, big billboard sign from the pony there and sort of suspending it from these pipes. I wanted this area to be really noir based. I wanted to give the idea that there was rain here. That sign for the pony faces the cable cars as they come in so the way i pictured it was if you're in one of these cable cars and you're pulling into this area what you see is this big sort of pink neonish sort of sign with water coming all the way down and just sort of like it's supposed to look like really gloomy so in the end i would say that this was the last thing that i did but it was easily i thought the part to put a stamp of my approval on it do you know what i mean i, I thought that this really finished it off yeah man that's such a cool visual and to be honest it's something that was on my list of things when i started out this project that i wanted to do and i have yet to do it i've kind of failed so having you come in and do that without me even telling you too was no, no. yeah really awesome So at some point, you know, you were hitting me up about some sort of issue with the save. What was going on here? Yeah, so not only was this the first time I've really used procedural objects, it's the first time that I've just sort of completely uninstalled all my mods and just subscribed to someone else's uh, collection. There must have been something, a glitch in the matrix along the way, because uh, at some stage I just, uh, I lost the ability to save. So you hit me up about this and you're like, oh my God, I'm afraid I can't save anymore. I'm worried I can't do any more work in this area and through that process you were sending me the saves to test out it did work on my end but there was a decent amount of stuff still to do in this area so I basically just like asked for instructions on how to finish it myself yeah I didn't really have much of an idea there's a really nice hanger asset that has like these big open doors and then once I found this it gave me the idea that because this area is so old I wanted to include some kind of collapsed tunnel down there you know so I gave you the head up i said that's what i wanted to do yeah i remember reading your message to me about what this should be like 30 times as i was making this trying to make sure i was doing it right <laughs> Um, basically just taking as many different pieces of concrete that I could, different pieces of rubble and trash and piling them up to kind of block the back of this thing. And I was thinking this tunnel is kind of facing in the same direction as the Hyperloop and as the conveyor belts that leave to the city. 
that this could have been like an old service tunnel and a place where people in the lower area now can like smuggle stuff and get to where those conveyor belts that are the current ones uh, kind of leave the city. So they could intercept a crate that's coming into the city or add a crate to the conveyor belt and have it leave the city, something like that. Look how good, that lighting in there was so good, by the way. Did you see that? That was the perfect balance between uh, ambient occlusion and lighting. <laughs> well, that's just how the, uh, the hangar came, so I didn't really do much there. But I do think this area lends itself really well to nighttime lighting, especially here and also in the brothel area, which when you gave it to me, it was just uh, these couple buildings and the pipes behind. And one of the things that I was thinking could be cool is because these pipes are dumping so much water into this area, like you might not really want to be walking around in like wet trash. Um, <laughs> and so they maybe built like sort of a platform to walk around back here. That's a, that's a good idea. I did think in the end that was a bit extreme that not only is there trash down there, but it's essentially a sewage swamp. The idea that they have a nice little platform to walk on is, uh, I think it's a lot more suitable. So good job. <laughs> yeah, I was imagining this whole platform area is like part of the brothel almost. Like the brothel has a lot of different rooms and you can get to the rooms on this platform and each room here is kind of highlighted by a door and a light. And then behind this, there's this really big wall. And so what I ended up doing was trying to make a construction site that never really got finished and had been turned in since then into really large squalor tents. just like a makeshift place for tons and tons of people to live. That's really good. Yeah, so I was thinking basically I just make one little box and put some details in there and duplicate that up over and over and make a really big structure that's the whole building. And then once that was done, it was just about deleting a bunch of random props that were making it look really repetitive. And then there was this one spot in the corner that required some uh, extra care because it wasn't, you know, a 90 degree angle or anything. Some of these places I've covered up the openings with tarps and in other places I put glass there as though, you know, maybe some of the places got a little bit more finished and they had glass, but not everywhere. And then I thought, you know, because this is a place under construction, I would put some cranes. So there's two cranes here. One of them is holding up a cable car that I kind of like tilted a little bit and was thinking that this is like an office or something that goes on inside of there that, you know, they can get in and out of if they raise and lower the crane. And then there's another one that I use procedural objects and tilted it and made it look really broken and bent and everything like that. That one was completely destroyed at this point. That looks really good. I think when you told me that this was going to be like the worst slum in the entire project, I mean, looking at it now, this looks absolutely just ridiculously bad. So I think uh, mission accomplished. Like you just said, you know, it is supposed to be the worst part in the city, but at the same time, it's directly next to the Hyperloop station entrance. And that was difficult figuring out a good way to transition between like something that is supposed to be nice and something that's supposed to be literally the worst place in the city. So what I ended up doing here was I made like a big entrance to get you into the Hyperloop station from this side and just fenced it off like crazy, put like a bunch of guards here and some keep clear decals and directly outside of that just started filling it with tons and tons of tents and homeless people and people sleeping in the streets. And the last thing was we had this area that was just some trash and I wanted to add some sort of detail here. I started off by making this little entryway with some guards and some people standing around the outside and like a sign up above and was just trying to figure out what should go in here. Since this is directly next to the brothel, this could maybe be some sort of underground, maybe a little bit sketchy sort of like club. So I started off here here with placing a bar and some tables and chairs and then in the corner I did like a little stage with some speakers and someone playing like a, or DJing or something like that and there's this awesome prop from the concerts DLC that I placed up above that's kind of giving that person light and then over the top of it I placed these wires down and I was thinking that there would be like a dance floor here in the middle I placed some little boxes on the wall to kind of justify like where those wires are attaching 
and placed a ton of little people props all throughout this area to really make it look full. And the last thing was I put this piece of graffiti out here on the outside. And when I did it, I was just like randomly was like, okay, I'm just gonna put this graffiti here. But you pointed out something pretty funny about this. Well, I mean, that's my name on it, number one. I mean, that's the, <laughs> when I saw that, I laughed. And uh, I thought you did that on purpose because yes, that's my graffiti. That's, I did upload that to the workshop. <laughs> that's hilarious, dude. Well, uh, that's the end of the episode. Thanks, man, again. For, no, man, for... I mean, thanks a lot for the invitation. Cause what I do, it's a marvel to look at just from a detail point of view, but it's usually very poorly functional. Whereas this works as a city, it makes profit. There's not many people walking through walls or fences like in my stuff, and it just, it looks right and it works. So no, it's, uh, it, it's, it was good. And um, I was really happy to, to get involved. Yeah, man, it was great having you. I really could not be happier with the results. This is pretty awesome. So thank you for doing this. And uh, that's it for this episode. So uh, I'll see you all next time on Mars. City Skylines Mars tells the story of greed, lies, and broken dreams on the surface of the red planet. It's a city inside of a dome, and this episode features the awesome work of Disgruntled Guy, who made a brothel within a slum, one of the most terrible, dilapidated parts of the city. If you have any ideas of what to name this place, on Patreon this week we'll be doing name suggestions and then a poll to pick what this part of the city should be called. The link to get involved in that is in the description. This kind of rundown style is what Disgruntled Guy is known for. He's got a very well-known Los Angeles project and a new Arizona desert project that's being turned into his very first YouTube series. Linked on screen now is the pilot to that series, which I highly recommend you watch. It's super awesome, as well as the Curbs tutorial that I mentioned earlier. Huge thanks to Disgruntled Guy for doing this build, to my patrons, mods, the city skylines, asset, and mod creators, and to you for watching this video. I'll see you all next time on Mars.